Hey, welcome back everyone. Hope your Tuesday's going good. You see, we got some 2012 Press Pass Ignite Packs right in front of us that we're going to be ripping open here in just a minute. I want to double check and make sure that it is 2012 because I always get these years confused. So yes, it is 2012. There you see smoke on the cover. These are retail packs, five cards per pack. Manufactured by Press Pass, who is no longer in business. Look for the first NASCAR Sprint Cup Series autographs of Danica Patrick. Of course, that was her rookie season. I'm going to flip it over here and uh, show you guys the odds of all the inserts, parallels, etc. Be nice if we got a Hall of Fame card. I'd like to try to complete that set, but I got them cards all over the place in here. Normally we get a Steel Horses card out of uh, these packs. We've been, uh, I think we've got about three Carl Edwards uh, Steel Horses cards over the time that we've done a lot of these videos. And this first pack is going to start off with a security tag, so that's kind of exciting. Don't know if it means we got something coming up here. But our first card is David Gilliland. Of course, this is the father of Todd Gilliland back when he was driving for Front Row Motorsports. Of course, Todd drives for them in the Truck Series. Front Row has a win this year at Coda. So it's a bit of a surprising win. And there is a Hall of Fame card. How about that? We were just talking about the Hall of Fame cards. This is Richie Evans, multiple-time modified champion. So there's some information about Richie Evans. Richie did pass away in a practice accident at Martinsville in 1985. His number 61 is the only retired number in all of NASCAR, but it's only retired in the Modified Series. There's a Danica Cup rookie card. That is not her rookie card. I believe that was about two. The Rittenhouse is her rookie card. I believe the 07, but then there's a NASCAR one from, I believe, 2009. Greg Biffle, top speed, and we've seen this when we opened the pack. Uh, Brad Keselowski, 2012 champ, also a top speed card. So not too bad of a first pack. Don't mind getting these little filler things. We like to use those when we ship cards out, and etc. So we're going to start pack number two with Greg Biffle. We've seen him in the top speed card there at the back of that last pack. Up next, Casey Mears during his time with Germain Racing. Had a decent run with them. Tony Stewart is up next. Three-time Cup Series champion. Then we get another filler card. Cole Witt, who is no longer active. And Kevin Harvick, who did make it into playoffs by points. Still has an opportunity to win at Daytona this Saturday. But he did manage to lock in enough points to make it to the uh, at least the first round of the playoffs. And, of course, he was the winningest driver last year. Still has not cracked victory lane just yet. Up next, Eric Almirola, back during his time at Richard Petty Motorsports. Bobby Labonte, he was a former Richard Petty Motorsports driver, but this was during his uh, tenure at JTG Doherty. Another filler card. Then we have Trevor Bain, who's been pretty quiet the last couple of years, made a few truck starts last year. There's his teammate at Roush at a period of for a period of time, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., And then Landon Castle, driving for uh, BK Racing. Burger King was not a sponsor. Uh, team owner Ron Devine actually was a Burger King franchisee and decided to put the logos on the car and everything. So basically just free advertising for Burger King. Who wouldn't want that? But BK Racing was just a, 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 just a train wreck, a dumpster fire, whatever analogy you want to use or metaphor, or whatever. And it was eventually bought by Front Row. Mainly for the charter, I believe. 
Denny Hamlin is up next. Of course, he has spent his entire career in the number 11 car for Joe Gibbs. Joey, or I'm sorry, this is A.J. Allmendinger. I thought it was, uh, naturally, I'm going to say Logano. But A.J. did spend a brief amount of time in the 22 car before he got released. Here's a very nice limelight insert of Dale Jr. So we'll take that one all day long. Have to get that one sleeved up. Got our little uh, filler card. Travis Pastrana. And Ricky Stenhouse Jr. looking... I mean, that almost just looks like a, a junior high photo there. He just looks super young in that picture. We have our final pack here. Trying to get some cards organized off to the side here. They're starting to slide around a little bit. Another security tag. And it looks like another filler card here coming up. Going to start off with 2012 champ Brad Keselowski. Of course, this is when he was racing nationwide for Penske, but he was a former nationwide or Xfinity Series champion. Steel Horses, Kyle Busch. It's a nice looking card. At least we didn't end up with the Carl Edwards version of that one that we've got so many of. We've got a nice stack of filler cards. A few more cards to go. Ryan Newman, top speed during his time at the Stuart Haas. Marcus Ambrose, during his time at Richard Petty Motorsports, got two wins at Watkins Glen. And our final car of the day, Brad Keselowski once again, the 2012 champ, in his Miller Lite racing uniform there. Did get three really nice inserts there. I mean, can't sneeze at these. A nice Kyle Busch steel horses. Like that design, I just looked off to the side here and happened to see this one from one of our previous rips here. The Jeff Gordon Steel Horses. So it looks like they use the templates the same. They just dropped the car in and added whatever color to match the car. So in this case, a little bit of a, a yellow hue on that band there to match the M&Ms. Of course, we just seen the Dale Jr. Limelight. Very nice looking card there. And our final car of the day, or our first hit or insert of the day, the Richie Evans Hall of Fame card. So got some nice cards there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I say, I'm still putting together my hero cards, the autographs and everything from uh, Autograph Night from the Indianapolis Speedrome. So hope to have the, that video ready here in a day or two. Um, looking forward to doing that because I think it'll be a lot of fun to show all you guys and gals out there that watch this channel. Show you guys uh, all the different cars and all the different stars from... Uh, the the Indianapolis Speedrome and, and maybe a few of you that are in the area will uh, encourage you to come down on, on Saturdays and, and, and watch the action. So anyway, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday and we will see you again tomorrow.